So you've been looking, you've been searching, you haven't quite found it yet. Well, you're in luck. We're over here in Valley Center, Kansas. We're gonna throw you some pros, some cons, and we're gonna get to it. You gotta make sure to stay to the end so you get it all. We're getting after it right now. So first and foremost off the bat, we're over at Meridian in Maine. This is part of Valley Center. If you're looking for that small town charm, Valley Center has it in spades. Just kind of give you an idea. Small town charm, everybody knows everybody. When they hold their, their little events, their festivals, over here on Meridian, Main Street, it's packed. Everybody's having a good time. And I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Small town charm in, in spades. If you're looking for a small town hamburger joint, if you're wanting to maybe pop off a party, uh, look in you. Super, super great guy. He, know the guy that runs it. Hook you up in a heartbeat. But this is small, this is small town America. We got Valley Liquor over here. Make sure you stop by. Ask for Herb. Give him a hard time. So number two, this really kind of just applies only to people looking to get a loan. So Valley Center falls under uh, the, uh, the eligible portion of the USDA map. What this means for you is <clears throat> the agricultural department with the government will, I mean if you fall into the criteria, a zero down loan. They covered the they covered the down payment. Of course, there's hoops you got to jump through, good stuff. But it's it's a fine product. Don't mind waiting a little bit longer because it goes through a couple underwriters instead of just one. Credit requirements a tad bit higher, but solid product. If you're kind of in a pinch on funds, needing a little help, so there's that. So according to niche.com, Valley Center, I mean, because we can't, we can't stir, we can't sway you one way or the other, but Valley Center has those top-notch schools, talking probably top four, somewhere three to five in the area. Gotta throw that out there. Top-notch schools, when it comes to a lot of people that at least I'm talking to the schools are a big big proponent of why they relocate here and like I said don't take my word for it jump on the old niche.com on to the next one so before we get on to the next one are you getting any value maybe a little bit do me a solid like comment subscribe maybe you know somebody who uh, is looking to relocate to valley one of the other suburbs wichita shoot it their way you know like comment subscribe all the fun stuff if you got a question reach out i can't read your mind call text email dm send the carrier pigeons whatever you do to get that question answered because morning noon early night weekends i got you back when it comes to relocating to valley center wichita surrounding areas now back to it number four so kind of kind of pertaining back to what i was talking about previously the small town charm that sense of community is very strong here people looking out for one another all that good stuff this is this is one of the smaller suburbs so if you're looking for that small town feel you know that sense of community it certainly is here people are pretty friendly you know 
not used to seeing somebody walk down the street with a camera on them so you better believe I'm getting some weird looks but it's all good it's all worth it when you're trying to do this kind of stuff and the last one number five this being a smaller suburb development is in process they are looking to expand several new home communities which is a plus for you you got quick access 135 north south to get you where you need to be 235 96 it's all fairly close with these roads with these ways you can get just about anywhere fairly quick so it helps it certainly helps sweeten the deal so now we're on to the cons overall just kind of throwing this out there Valley Center is great great small suburb it's moving in the right direction expanding what have you but like I said it is a small town this is one of the smaller suburbs so job opportunities you can get a job here if you're that type I gotta I need my job to be here in the town I'm living in might be a little challenging depending on that skill set so just a little something to keep in mind like I said there are opportunities here but you know if you're looking for say aircraft or you're looking for something like medical you're probably gonna have to go to Wichita and you know there's nothing wrong with that it just depends on you and your situation it's got to make sense so on to the next one so number two kind of in line with the previous one with the jobs entertainment your entertainment options are going to be a little limited compared to some of these other suburbs we're down main street right now and you know not a whole lot going on a couple uh, tax places an investment firm you know you got tequila's Mexican Grill it's a nice little place but that's it not a whole lot going on I mean you got some parks stuff like that and like I said when when they're doing their their events their parades what have you you know they bring in uh, they bring in all all the rides all that stuff you know it'll be packed out here but everybody will be having a good time but you know 99% of the time this is it so you know got a couple liquor stores you got the, the hive just past uh, Meridian Maine here you know it's kind of limited so if you're looking for some entertainment options you're probably gonna go you know Park City maybe you got a casino out there some other stuff kind of coming up Hartman Arena you know Wichita's got Entrust Bank Arena kind of quite a bit of other stuff going on too but you know if, if you're a night owl you know other than maybe the bar which I be honest with you I don't know when they close I don't know what their hours are I've been in there a handful of times so that entertainment might be just a little lacking town feel being a lower population area you know if you're looking to buy a house it's going to be a little more limited here than it's going to be in say Wichita and Andover and Derby and you know that's something to keep in mind there are there are opportunities here I'm not saying that it's just going to be a little more limited compared to some of the other options that's all I'm saying and naturally when there's less options it's going to be just a tad bit more expensive just a little food for thought number four so still kind of in that same vein as everything else you know if you're not looking for that small town charm a lot of the charm here you know kind of kind of loses its luster 
you have a, a Dollar General, some other, some other small restaurants. But you know, if you're looking for that big chain rest or uh, chain grocery store, say Walmart, say Kroger, Target, what have you, you're gonna have to go to Wichita for that. Fortunately, it's not really too far. You just head south on Meridian down to about 53rd and you'll find a Walmart but I mean a lot of your other shopping options are gonna be you know like I said in Wichita so there's some other services out there online services you know if you the type you want to have your groceries delivered you can certainly have that that kind of evens the playing field a little bit in my mind you have the option if you don't mind someone else doing the shopping dropping it off at your house solid service just make sure you take care of your drivers but if not if you're wanting if you're that type of person you want the grocery store you want your entertainment you want your job here you know it it's a little lacking and that's okay it's a small town it's got that vibe it's growing it's going to continue to grow and i'm interested interested to see what uh what the future kind of holds so they've got some big stuff in the works with some development developing some new uh, communities what have you and uh, you're close to some other amenities in wichita in park city and honestly you know valley is a solid option great schools strong sense of community you can certainly do worse but let me know what what are your thoughts does valley hit, does valley hit hit it on the head yeah no you know that's okay hey maybe not that's okay too throw me two or three th three likes some dislikes you might be surprised what we find maybe budget time frame all that good stuff but if you've made it this far do me solid like comment subscribe all that good stuff got a question reach out i can't read your mind call text email dm all that fun stuff morning noon early night weekends i got your back when it comes to relocating to valley wichita surrounding areas until the next one guys we'll see you later